want. <clears throat> can't do it. I just can't do it. I don't want creams. Today I'm going to be filming up baby. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my Ipsy unboxing for you guys, and if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. Oh my gosh. Oops, okay. So here's the card um, with all the little YouTube um, YouTubers that are for Ipsy on here. Um, I just subscribed to uh, Desi yesterday, um, Crispy, and um, I can't think of her name, but I'm subscribed to her. Her? I can't think of her name. Luster Lux, I think. I don't remember what her YouTube name is. Oh, yeah, Luster Lux. I was correct. It says it right here. So there's the card. Um, so here's the bag. Um, interesting. I it's. It's cute. I mean, I don't really know. It's color blocked. I like that. I like the orange um, zipper detail. That's very cute. So let's open him up. All right. So the first thing that I just pulled out is this natural mineral coconut eyeshadow by Pacifica. Cute packaging. Um, I mine is in Treasure. Rich lot. Rich. I cannot read. Rich lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut for a velvety finish. Ooh. So we got. A Pacifica duo eyeshadow a, a few bags ago and my lid broke off okay so here it is here's the shade it's this really nice brown color with little hints of gold so let's swatch it ooh <gasps> look at how pretty that is oh it's so smooth it doesn't smell like anything oh my gosh this is gorgeous I'm actually in love I believe you can get Pacifica at Ulta. I may be wrong. Look at that. That's a really pretty color. I really like this. Um, natural Beauty. I really like that. Two claps for you, Ipsy. Even though that was probably three. Okay, so the next thing I pull out is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It looks like a loose pigment eyeshadow. And an exit. Exite? I don't know. Um, let's open him up. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! That just got all over me. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Who cares? So it's obviously this white shade. Um, it's a white loose pigment. A really pretty inner corner highlight. Can you see that? Gorgeous. I love getting loose eyeshadows. I really like this. I like that too. So we got two eyeshadows. Hmm. Guess what? My battery died. So if I look a little bit different, that's why. I charged it for a good maybe 10, 15 minutes. So hopefully this will hold out. Okay, so the next thing I pull out is this Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream. Avocado and Argan normal to dry skin. So this actually might be good for me because My eyes have been getting very dry my lids um, I don't really know why like this winter my skin got super dry and was not feeling it But actually yesterday I noticed that my lid had some dryness to it So this might help me it says avocado oil to restores and protects Mer moroccan argan oil hydrates and rep replenishes shea butter moisturizes mo i cannot speak moisturizes and conditions so this is pretty neat i'm actually kind of glad i got this i don't really like getting creams in ipsy but that's good so i only have two more things in here so i just pulled out the malin and goats um mojito lip balm um, okay, interesting. Daily protection, soothing treatment, fatty acid absorption technology. Um, for the prevention and treatment of dry, irritated lips. My lips have gotten super dry, like you probably can't tell because I have lipstick on, but my lips are so chapped. They were like bleeding the other day. Like if I do this, it hurts right here so bad. So this might be great. I believe my mom might have gotten this one. Um, and she loved it. 
I don't remember. Um, it smells um, kind of minty-ish. I don't really know how to explain it. I like how it's mojito, like the drink. So this looks like this. And there's that. And then one more thing. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush. Don't miss a spot with this ridiculously soft shadow brush. This, the densely packed bristles gently place the right amount of color for perfect and even application. Your lids will thank you later. Cute! Oh my gosh, it's pink. I am in love. Literally, look how adorable that is. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Wow, cute! It's not that soft. <laughs> I mean, it's soft. It's not that soft. It is a little... Uh, it's not that dense, but I like it. It's really cute. I love that it's pink and it's adorable. All right, so right now I am on the Bella Pierre Cosmetics website and I was looking up to see how much the loose pigment shimmer powders, so they're called, cost. And these are about $14.99 each, which is already more than the bag cost. The bag costs like $10. So that's great. I think that's really awesome. So I already have on an inner corner highlight, as you can tell, but I just want to see how this works. So let's put some on. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that pigment. Super pretty. And I'm using my Elizabeth Mott brush. Wow. Look at that gorgeous I love this I'm so excited wow I love how I'm just like oh my gosh a living for it love it wow gorgeous this is awesome wow this side looks so sloppy oh my gosh living for it though I'm looking at the little viewfinder and it's really hard to see if I'm applying it good so there's that, loves it. So the Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush retails for $9.99 on their website. Um, this is such a cute brush, I really actually love it. I love the ombre pink and I just really think this is cute. I love when Ipsy sends brushes, I think they're great. And I can't wait to try this out more because I think it's such a fun brush and I'm really excited for it. Literally though, she's like so stoops. Alright, so for the Pacifica eyeliner, I actually could not find this individually. I was incorrect. They're sold at Target, not Ulta. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. But these actually come in what looks like little palettes. I think that's really weird that they would give us just a single eyeshadow and not the palette. So, like, if you can see, they come in like palettes like that or like palettes where they're round. It says seven colors that range from pale deep shades to create a myriad of looks in the eyes. So you can't get these individually, um, which is kind of a bummer. But, I mean, I kind of want to buy a palette now. They look cute. My battery is literally about to die, and I'm going to kill someone if it does. So I'm just going to put this on the outer V of my lid. Can you even see it? I can't even tell. Is it pretty? It looks like it looks pretty. Like the brush that I'm using. Haha. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there it is on the outer V of my eye. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Alright, so for the eye cream, this is obviously a sample size, but the big size retails for $19.99, so $20. So this one was probably like a dollar or two, maybe three at the most. I highly doubt it just because it's a sample size, but yeah, there's the eye cream, and I'm not going to try this out because I have eyeshadow and stuff on. So lastly for the lip balm, this one is not the full size. The full size has 35 ounces and 10 grams. This one has 20 ounces and 7 grams. But the full size retails for $12. But this is actually a really good sample size. I think this is great. So now you can see the cut on my lip. It's actually freaking bleeding, which is great. So let's put this bad boy on. Hopefully it stops me from bleeding. Okay, it feels really good. It feels like a gel. Oh my gosh, it's tingly. Oh my goodness. 
I love tingly lip glosses. It's really thick too, feels very moisturizing. All I taste is blood. So it's actually not as tingly as I thought it was. It's a little bit tingly, but not that much. All right, so that was it for this Ipsy unbagging. I really enjoy all the products that I got this month. I think it's a great bag. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Stay fierce. I'm done with my video now. Woo!